the Naval Proctor Marshall Library. And we are an independent group of um, students, scholars, uh, activists um, from different political tendencies so that the what you all hear today does not represent in any sense. Power. Power is on. Power. All we needed to do was start. We got electricity. Like <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we're, um, we'll have coffee. That was late. magic. <laughs> Um, let's not get over overly overjoyed. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, the, the program does not represent in any sense a group consensus by the members of the institute. Uh, but the members of the institute are all united in our respect for the work of Karl Marx and a belief that his work will remain as important for the future as it has been in the past. So uh, we're very fortunate in having our comrade Orion here, who's organized a splendid uh, group of speakers to speak. Uh, they'll speak roughly for an hour. We'll take a break. Um, have a few announcements, take all your money, and then we will uh, have Q&A and comments. So it's all yours, Orion. I thank you all very much for supporting Chelsea and Julian Assange and also Edward Snowden and all the other whistleblowers. We have a distinguished panel, which I'll introduce soon. Uh, I'd like uh, GD to sing a song uh, about WikiLeaks. Oh, first me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was going to do the first song because I thought you were going to be loud and think, but if you're quiet, you can hear Billy. She's GD needs a quiet audience. This so is a, it's a great song. And, and all last week I thought I'd need to um, call Dolores Hellman and have her come because she wrote the song. And I didn't think of it. But anyway, Dolores Hellman, you guys probably, most of you know her. She wrote this song. Everybody's listening. Never 
change, they never change, they shoot us down without shame. They never change, they never change, it's that same old capitalist, imperialist game. We're gonna educate the seniors to the youth. I said we're gonna educate the seniors to the youth. We're gonna expose those horrific truths. They never change, they never change, they shoot us down without shame. Come on, everybody. They never change, they never change, the same old capital game. Every minute, every hour, every day. Even though our tears won't go away. Okay, the first speaker will be Gerald Smith. I met you 11 And he'll tell you what he wants you to know about why Chelsea and Julian are working class heroes and why their fight is our fight. Yeah, uh, uh, it will be on. Just a second. Uh, I, uh, it's on the battery, so now I can plug it in. Right. And it, on now? it will be okay Great. now. So uh, just, I don't know, Brown. You can start. Yeah. I had never heard of Massage or Chelsea back in the, uh, uh, I guess around 2010 or so. I got me a new computer, you know, it was a, a used Apple. I never will forget. Now, you know, for folks from the ghetto, a used Cadillac is like a Mercedes. <laughs> so a used, a used Apple, boy, I thought, I, I thought my shit was cool, you know? So I looked on uh, the bar of the computer and it had something that said collateral damage. I said, what's that? I said, oh, I clicked that. I said, and up come this video of this slaughter by the United States military of Iraqi citizens that were basically going along their business. Everybody in Iraq that had any sense was armed because they was kidnapping people. Social order broke down. So people, yes, people carried guns, but they were not engaging in any military action against the United States. They were simply going about their business and they wiped these people out mercilessly. And I said, whoa, what the, wh who, what, what's this? So naturally I started sharing it with people that I knew and I came to find out the origins of this video. Former Army Intelligence Allen, Analyst, I'm, I'm gonna have to read some of my stuff because I, I wanna be coherent. And whistleblower, Chelsea Manning was jailed not over on this incident, but literally thousands of files, similar files, exposing the United States. She was, now she was recently jailed again by the vindictive United States government. Tortured in prison for seven years. Her original sentence was 35 years. Hands down the longest sentence that anybody has ever received uh, for the alleged crime of espionage. And by the way, this was the Obama regime that you know she was persecuted under, Democrats, for exposing US imperialist uh, war crimes. Obama, by the way, was framed up, he done framed up and persecuted more whistleblowers 
using this archaic 1917 espionage act than all of the presidents of the United States that have preceded him. Damn. Sure glad we had a black president. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Maybe he wasn't black. Yeah. <laughs> he was a capitalist president. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, he's mixed race. black enough for me you know, to, 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 to draw the lesson about the significance of race and politics. And this is where we have to try to keep ourselves aimed so we, we don't get manipulated by others. Okay, so <sighs> Manning was thrown back behind bars on March 8th because she refused to testify before a grand jury against Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Manning said, I will not participate, this is a direct quote, in a secret process that I morally object to, particularly one that has been historically used to entrap and persecute activists for protected political speech, unquote. Yeah, I really respect Manning for that because she knew what, would, what the likely outcome of that would be. Held in contempt of federal court for her principal stand, Manning was sent to jail where she basically will remain for up to a year or until this so-called investigation is over. Yep. Class conscious workers must demand and should demand that the United States government release Chelsea Manning now. In April, Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, was dragged out of the Ecuadorian embassy in London by British pigs, and he was arrested. He is now being held in England in a prison. Bell's, Bell's March was the last one I heard about. Now, while he is an Austrian citizen, I thought Australian rather, it, it's kind of interesting. This is how ignorant the representatives of the United States politicians and, you know, state, state functionaries, they just call him a traitor. The man's from Australia, you fool. Mm -hmm. But what does logic or intelligence have to do with their persecution and frame up? All told, nothing. The fact of the matter is that he has been in the crosshairs of U.S. imperialism ever since the aforementioned, uh, what I mentioned when they uh, exposed imperialism with, with the release of all of those files and videos of the just carnage and murder of the Iraqi people. Both Democrats and Republicans have been howling for his incarceration ever since. Now, here again, Class conscious workers need to demand no extradition. Free Julian Assange now. Right. That's what we need to be fighting for. Okay. Assange resided in the embassy for seven years. Can you imagine? <laughs> he was granted uh, political asylum by Ecuador's then president, Rafael Correa. And at the time, he was facing deportation to Sweden on bogus allegations of so-called sexual molestation and so-called rape, which was simply a step towards handing him over to the U.S. authorities. More on that later. Korea's successor, the U.S. imperialist lackey, dig this, dude's name is Lenin Moreno. <laughs> An irony of history. He revoked Assange's asylum, as well as the Ecuadorian citizenship he had been granted. So this is, you know, they, they just tramp, he trampled on his own country's sovereignty. That's how much, a, what we used to call it when I was a kid, Uncle Tom, but, but you, you call it what you want. But that's what he did, okay? So he threw those embassy or uh, doors open for the British peers. And he was vice president. Under yeah, Korea. yeah. So he, he was a traitor to, you know. Yeah, I'm talking about traitors, they, they, they go one. Now, I, I do want to point out, I want you to compare the whistleblower Assange 
versus the treatment of the whistleblower from the CIA that has recently exposed Trump over the Joe Biden affair, which kind of shows you the hypocrisy involved here. Oh, do they respect whistleblowers? Oh, look, they're respecting a whistleblower. Well, Trump made it pretty clear what he wished would happen with this dude. Yeah. Or, or you know, the woman, whoever it was, made it very clear. It's just that he is unable at this point to take action because of the political situation, i.e., the Democrats are defending this this whistleblower, this. but but not whistleblowers. Okay, central to the uh, all right. So, we have got two minutes, Chair. Okay, got to be quick and say central to this extradition to Sweden is some cooked up uh, so-called rape charges. I think we got to at least address it. So if it comes up, you know, you know how to deal with this. Uh, so this assault on his reputation was key. If you can't, this character assassination, this is what these bastards are into. Right. They want to make you look like a less than human, less than dignified human being. So they manufactured this Swedish rape allegation. The two women involved, by their own accounts, had consensual sex with Assange. Neither claim at the time that they had been a victim of rape or sexual assault. Never formally charged. Assad, Assad repeatedly offered to be interviewed by Swedish authorities in London or by video link, but the Swedes refused. So were they simply looking for the truth or say, and get a few questions, or did they just want to take him into custody and turn him over to the United States? I think to ask the question, is to answer it. All right, so, okay. Well, this, this problem has something that infects the entire left. Our weakness for these Me Too motherfuckers. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> now, forget that. See, that Hillary Clinton feminism is the enemy of the working class. All women are not comrades of all women. I had more in common with my grandmother, who was a maid and died a maid, than I did than she did with Hillary Clinton, for instance. Okay, so this whole Democrat, re Russia and Assange, I just want to just say it's a bunch of garbage. They they actually call Assange with no proof a Russian agent, but here is what they really. Here is one of the emails that I do want to share. This is one of the Dem This is why they want Assange in jail. He, if he released this so you could know about the Democratic Party. One of the Democrats in these, in these uh, hacked emails said, it, it might be no difference, but for Kentucky and Wisconsin, we can get someone to ask, in other words, put a plant in the audience and ask Bernie Sanders. Um, Brad Marshall, CFO and DNC wrote in an email May 5th, 2016, does he believe in God? He has, he, has state, he has skated on saying he has a Jewish heritage, a non-Jewish Jew. I read that he is an atheist. This could make several points difference with my peeps. My Southern Baptist peeps would draw a big difference between a Jew and an atheist. So this is the kind of low anti-Semitic garbage that, they, that the Democrats, some of your you know, your party. Mm -hmm. This is that's right. Let's just be honest. Both of these motherfuckers. Look, that that okay, it, that's what they okay, but that's what they're really about. Okay? And uh, I just to end it, I would say this. Yeah. This is my last statement. Um Yeah. I I'll just give it up now. You gonna act a fool. Right? Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Give him a big hand. No. A real activist in our community, and uh, he's been involved with the uh, Amo Jamal. He's on with the involved with the Oscar Grant Committee, and he's infiltrating the uh, what is it, the NSA or whatever? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Why don't you have a seat? What is it? S well, you What's fuck the up. socialist group that uh, ISO? This stupid motherfucker. Do yeah. you believe that? DSA. Uh, yeah, because 